let's have a look at a full example now for our analysis. So in the full analysis, we want to talk about the shape, the center, and the spread. So we've got a graph here looking at the weights of girls' school bags compared to the weights of boys' school bags for all students at intermediate schools in New Zealand. Okay, so what we've got is we want to do our shape first of all. So I'm going to draw my shape over the top for my girls and shape over the top for my boys. So in this one I can see that the females are right skewed and the boys are also right skewed in shape. Okay, so that's my first step. Now I want to have a look at the medians. So I want to compare this median with this median. And so I can see the median weight for the girls is 3.8 kilos. So that's at 3.8 kilos. And the median weight for the boys, if I go down there, is at 3.3 kilos. And I can see that the median weight for the girls is a little bit more than the median weight for the boys. And I'm trying to find out how far apart they are. So that's when I would do my difference which is 3.8, take away 3.3, which will give you 0 0.5 kilos. So the girl's median is bigger than the boy's median bag weight by 0 0.5 kilos, so half a kilo. All right, then the third thing I want to do is compare the spread. So I'm going to look at um, how wide your box is there for the girls and how wide the box is there for the boys. And it looks to me that the girls might be a little more spread out. Um, and so in terms of evidence, I'm going to want to find the interquartile range. So the interquartile range for my girls, upper quartile minus lower quartile. And in this case, the upper quartile, and I'll just rub that out so I can actually read the numbers. <laughs> my upper quartile is at 5.5 and my lower quartile is at 2. So that's my 5.5 take away 2 equals 3.5 kg and for the boys upper quartile is 5.1 lower quartile is 2 so I'm going to say my interquartile range is 5.1 take away 2 which gives me 3.1 kg so now I've got all the information now I need to write them up as comparative statements so I need to compare first of all the shape I've said the females are right skewed, the males are left skewed. So together, they've both got a similar right skewed shape. So that's a comparative sentence. So I'm going to say for my sample, because remember we're still focusing just on what the sample is telling us. So for the sample, I notice um, that the shape of bag weights... for both male and female um, students is right skewed. So that's an achieve level comment. It's comparative. I've said that they've both got the same shape and what it is. I've named it. Now I need to justify it for a merit. Okay, so how do I know that this is right skewed? So I need to think about those ideas of symmetry, um, of the number of peaks, and I need to think about the tails. Okay, so symmetry. Is my female's distribution symmetric? So if I was to put a line through here, are the two sides symmetric? Definitely not. Males, definitely not symmetric. Number of peaks, well, girls, females have got one peak in there, boys have got one main peak as well, so they've both got one peak. In terms of the tails, that right hand tail is much longer than the left hand tail on both the males and the females, that right hand tail is much longer. So that's my justification that I want to write up. Um, it's right skewed because... Um, the distributions have one peak, uh, not symmetric, uh, 
um, and the data is much more spread out on the right hand side. Okay, so there's my shape. Now I need to do a comparative statement for the centre. So which median was bigger? Well, it was the female's median who was bigger at 3.8 kilos compared to the male's median of 3.3 kilos. So that's what I'm going to say. Um, so for my sample, I notice that the median bag weight for females is heavier um, than males by 0 0.5 kg. Remember we found the difference. Um, and how do I know that? What's my evidence of that? Because the median bag weight for females is 3.8 kg and the median bag weight oh. for males is 3.3 kg. Okay, so that's my shape, that's my centre. Now I need to do the spread. So in terms of the spread, we decided that the females were a little bit more spread out and we've got those interquartile range values to back us up. Okay, so we can say for my sample, I noticed that the spread of the middle 50% of bag weights for females is slightly bigger than the males um, because the interquartile range for females is, what was the number? 3.5 kg and the interquartile range for male bag weights is 3.1 kg. Okay, so that's what I want to do to compare the centre. Shape, centre and spread.